Today we will be making an open face mold using Mold Next 6. First, take the putty onto a paintbrush and spread one even layer across your wax positive. At this point, the Mold Next 6 might pull away from the wax, but if you keep working the material, it will eventually cover the surface. Mold Next 6 molds are much thinner than traditional silica plaster molds. We suggest molds being between 1 16th and 1 8th of an inch, between 8 and 10 layers of Mold Next 6 putty. To tell the difference between your layers, you can add food coloring to differentiate between each layer. This way you can keep count while you're working. Make sure each layer is dry to the touch before adding your next layer. You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer on a low setting to speed up the drying process. Once your finished mold is completely dry, you can remove it from the surface you were working on and burn the wax out. Using a propane or map gas torch, Burn the wax over a grate into a bucket of water. We highly suggest burning out these molds as using steam to remove the wax will weaken the mold. Please use caution while using flame. The wax that has been absorbed into the mold will burn. First it will turn brown and then black. Once all of the wax is removed, the mold will be white. Here is a completed Mold Mix 6 mold. To ensure that no glass sticks to the mold, use a release agent. Here we are using Bullseye Kiln Wash. Once the primer is dried, you can fill your mold with glass. Then place your mold into the kiln and fire with your desired firing schedule. Once your piece has annealed, you can remove it from the mold. It will simply release with an open face mold like this, and you can reuse the mold for multiple firings. Here I'm just removing some of the kiln wash. Here is the finished product. For any questions, please visit www.luminarglass.com.